I'm Brett Wilhelm of Boulder, Colorado, and we're here at the Overland Expo Rocky Mountain. This is my 1992 Toyota Townace Amcraft Camper. That is a 4x4 JDM diesel camper van. As you can see, it is a fiberglass pop top body. Amcraft was a little bit like Winnebago of Japan. They would get the Toyota platforms from the factory and then red, uh, outfit them with a this fiberglass back, which adds a little bit of width to the body and has a ton of features packed inside, in addition to being a pop top so it can sleep a handful of people. Yeah, so it is proper four wheel drive. It has a low transfer case and front locking hubs for calling up some technical terrain. I don't push it too hard, but it is nice to be able to get off the beaten path and get to some really beautiful camp spots. Uh, also with the small wheelbase, it's really nice to kind of like tuck in between trees and get up some tighter turns. One of the things I really love about it is the Japanese use of space. I can sleep two down below, the whole bottom area converts into almost like a queen size bed. And then you can keep, uh, sleep two people upstairs somewhat comfortably, a little bit like a tent size. Uh, the van does have hot and cold water. The hot tank actually heats up by the engine as it drives. So when you're driving anywhere, you get there, you have about 12 gallons of hot water and 15 gallons of cold. And then it has a three-way propane uh, fridge. It has a single burner in there and of course the sink. It has indoor and outdoor showers. There is a shower uh, handle over here on the pull-out sink where you can shower outdoors. And then it also has the same pull-out style on the inside. If you were to shower inside, I don't really use the inside shower, but the whole back area is fiberglass so it can get wet. It's no big deal. Happy to show you a little bit more of the inside. It does have, again, a kitchen in the back. It has a closet back there, which I store lots of different stuff in. And then this is pretty interesting. It has a pull-up floor. Uh, that would be the shower basin with a drain. I keep a cassette toilet in there just so that, you know, when the need arises. It does have a fair amount of storage, lots of little cubby space. Um, a lot of the controls I keep still in Japanese is a little bit of nostalgia for me because I was a uh, son of a Navy guy. We lived in Japan when I learned to drive in high school. So that was one of the reasons that I was attracted to kind of a JDM platform when it was time for me to get a van. But I've made good use of Google Translate as I've learned to translate all the different switches in there and I've kept them all kind of non-translated. It is a double wall fiberglass and has a diesel cabin heater. So it actually stays pretty cool and well insulated in summer. And then again in winter with the diesel uh, cabin heater that runs off the main fuel tank, I can run the diesel heater for two or three weeks straight and never run out of the fuel. And it actually stays decently warm. Came with this 10 foot awning, it's about part way out now, but it's really great for when we're camping, especially off grid, some of the summer trips to the desert. For mountain biking, it provides a whole ton of square footage here for us to, to exist under. I added solar to the van. I raised it a little bit with an Adelief suspension and kind of maxed out the torsion bars up front and then put on these larger flotation tires uh, after I got it. I bought it in 2017 after the 25 year rule. It's a 1992, so in 2017, this was eligible to be imported. I also added the rack system here on the back a friend of mine built it. Uh, there was a factory ladder and he was able to build some cross members over so I can mount skis or a mountain bike on the back. The van, again, it does have a propane system. There are two propane tanks on the other side that I can switch out. Um, it runs, uh, the, a single propane tank will run average cooking and the fridge for about a week. So I can be off grid for about two weeks before I need to get more propane. Honestly, I usually run out of water before then, so it doesn't really matter. Again, as it was originally a JDM vehicle, it is right-hand drive. So I'm on the wrong side of the uh, vehicle when I'm driving up front. And that means you are, it's a column shift, a uh, five-speed column shift. So you're actually shifting with your left hand. It is a two liter Toyota diesel engine. It's the 2C, um, not particularly powerful. It certainly maxes out at about 65 miles an hour on flat ground and much slower going uphill at altitude, but it's really fuel efficient. So it's great for kicking around. You know, I can drive across the West and, and burn barely anything on fuel, but yeah, I guess that's it. You can find me on Instagram at Wilhelm Visual Works. Um, that's my photography business. And I use this kind of as a mobile office and also for travels with my girlfriend and dog. And we travel around the American West all over the place, both for work and play.